Hey there, happy Friday. I hope you're having a great day. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kathleen Borsch and I'm the owner and the maker of the products that you find at knotsofgrease.com. And Fridays, what I like to do is come to you with a little bit of uh, an update of what's going on at Knots of Grace. And one of the things that I put in some posts, I think in one post last week, was I was um, making some new crosses. I was um, going about staining some crosses, getting them ready for orders. And I haven't done that before, shown, shown you all the process. So I thought I would give you kind of an update of what happened last week and where it came to be this week. Because um, a lot of times, you know, you see them at, you know, the final products like you see here on the wall, but you don't get to see all the steps and, and everything. And I have to say that one of the things I love about working with wood is the staining process and the wood itself and how the grains take to that stain and sometimes it takes better and you know some some take better and some don't take as well and so it's all part of the process and so a few of them I, I just got a bunch done um, I'm super excited to get these all packed and ready um, and ship them out um, early next week um, but I wanted to share them with you here so anyway the first one is you see that up on the wall that is our um, I have called you by name um, door rosary and it comes in three different rope colors and it's based on the Isaiah um, 43 1 verse in the Bible and this one you can see here um, so the stain that I use is um, what's called a pecan stain and you can see the kind of yellowish but do you see the grains coming out in it and it's just so beautiful against um, the the copper cross that's in the middle with the eye of called um, and so, I don't know, this one just, it, this one popped, you know, most of them are very, very, um, standardized. You can see that the grains are pretty uniform, but every once in a while, there's this unique little one that pops out and you can see this almost looks like a little path. So super cute. Love that. The, one of the reasons why I love working with wood. And then this one, I haven't shown you guys in a while. Um, this is our St. Benedict crucifix and, and all these crosses, um, as you know, I make. And again, with this, most of them are going to be very uniform in nature, um, you know, looking a little bit more like this. But the way that the gray stain took to this one, and plus there's a little knot in this specific piece and a little extra... Um, uh, veins in in this piece of wood as well so every piece is different every piece is unique so whenever you receive yours if you if you purchase this um, type of cross from our collection um, everyone is going to be a little a little unique because well number one all the knots are tied by by us and so while we try and make sure that they're uniform sometimes they're a little bit different um not not in a bad way but like the spacing might be instead of like um you know a few millimeters apart it may be a few extra millimeters apart um and and then the crosses are going to be a little different as well and so similarly to this gray wood um i also have a red wood and can you see the isn't that beautiful Oh my gosh, this one just, when I was staining this one, I was just falling in love with it. And I wanted to keep it for myself, but no, I don't keep these for myself. These are for you guys. So, and, and like I said, most of the time they're pretty uniform. Um, but every once in a while, there's a, a beautiful piece of wood that pops out and the stain just brings out all of the, the fun little textures, you know, from that piece of wood. So... Anyway, that one you can see here on this cross here. I'm not gonna take it off the, the tagging, but this one comes on a um, navy and a brown and a forest green rope. And so it just reminds me of like the redwood forests of, of Northern California. And also my, my stepfather who taught us how to work with wood, he actually really loved, or at least it seemed as though he really loved um, redwood. And so we he did a lot of projects with redwood. So that's what's going on here this week. Still working on so many things and loving, um, loving my job. And I hope you're loving life too and hoping that your weekend is going to be filled with joy. 